Hello folks. In the last video we talked about DevOps culture and how it is made up of DevOps principles, DevOps practices and DevOps tools. So today we are going to talk about some of the DevOps principles which makes it truly DevOps culture. DevOps principles are cornerstone of your DevOps culture. It is imperative that we make our teams aware and informed about these DevOps principles. This will make the DevOps vision very clear. The value of DevOps are derived from these principles. Today we will take talk about seven basic DevOps principles which are iterative, incremental, automated, continuous, collaborative, self-service and holistic. Let's discuss about these principles in detail one by one. First of all, incremental principle. So you must be knowing about a famous problem. How to eat an elephant? The answer is one bite at a time. Divide your project into very little tiny tasks. Create many of these and then focus on delivering that small chunk of task. Do not make a goal of delivering a monolith in just one go. Incremental changes will help you start quickly and they will bring your dynamism in the system. Next principle is iterating. Once you have broken down your task into multiple little tasks, do not try to bring perfection in just one go. Go to multiple cycle of designing, coding, building, testing and then finally deployment. Based on the feedback of the current cycle, you should go to the next cycle. Next principle is automated. The ultimate goal of DevOps is no ops. Automation is such an integrated part of DevOps that sometimes automation and DevOps are used as synonymous. Automation paves the way for making your practices more resource efficient, fast, scalable, repeatable and less error prone. Also it makes it easy to integrate with other DevOps practices, DevOps stages and DevOps tools. To make the processes automated, we will need a lot of DevOps tools. These tools will discuss in the later videos. Next principle is continuous principle. Once the process is automated, it can be made repeatable. In a continuous paradigm, the focus is in integration of various stages of the pipeline and repeating these cycles multiple times a day. We will be talking about various practices such as continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment. It will be based on how many stages do you cover how many stages do you automate, how many stages you integrate in your pipeline. Next is collaborative principle. The whole foundation of DevOps was based on bringing together developers and operations team, making it more collaborative. This is about breaking the silos that stop them on the first place to share the knowledge, to share the responsibilities. A free flow of knowledge, skills, Ideas and information is the key to success of the DevOps. Next principle is self-service. The basic idea about self-service is that people should collaborate in such a manner that they don't have to be dependent on one another. They should have the necessary skills and knowledge set to complete their tasks on their own. This brings more autonomy, inspires innovation, and enables people to take initiatives on their own. Next principle is holistic. Bringing down silos opens the mindset of people so that they can look at the issues with a better and broader perspective. For example, when an issue comes from the production environment, the first approach should be to locate where the issue is, whether it is in infrastructure or in the design or in the code. The person should have such a perspective that he can locate the issue. To be able to take this approach, the team needs to have holistic knowledge about the whole ecosystem. Since DevOps is an evolving field, so that you can find many more principles there. But a lot of solutions and software architectures are basically inspired from these DevOps principles. Some of these architectures are serverless based architecture, microservices based architecture and so on. You can find the shadow of DevOps principles in the current management practices directly or indirectly. So in the next video, we will be talking about various DevOps practices which are compliant to this DevOps culture. So see you in the next video.